Hello, my dear beloved children. In continuation of my previous message today, I want to explain to you why communist countries cause such hatred among globalists and why they are trying to pervert their essence. First of all, this happens because they see them as a threat to their existence. In countries that declare the principles of unity, equality, and brotherhood, there is no place for their own divide and conquer principle, thanks to which they keep entire countries and peoples in obedience. Therefore, their main attention has always been focused on countries that adhere to communist principles. And if they failed to capture them militarily, they began to destroy them from within using their proven weapons, threats, blackmail and bribery of the leaders of these countries, as well as all kinds of moral decay of their population. They have achieved special success in recent decades, when, with the help of new technologies and the media, the deep state managed to introduce into the minds of people false and completely unusual values, which were presented to them as fashionable, progressive, modern. At the same time, such qualities as competition, rivalry, competition were cultivated in people, which cultivated the ego of a person and drowned out the voice of his soul. As a result, there was such a concept as prestige, symbolizing success, wealth, prosperity, inherent in capitalism. Have you ever wondered what the word capitalism means? After all, its very name screams that the main meaning of the life of a person professing this religion is capital, that is, money. Thus, capitalism is the exact opposite of communism, and there is an almost insurmountable gap between these two political systems. And yet the globalists managed to overcome it. This happened due to the fact that all world finances were in the hands of representatives of the deep state, which allowed them to buy influence in countries they did not like. Thus, the destruction of the ideals of people who dream of living in a world of unity, equality and brotherhood came from two sides, from within and outside. On the one hand, it was almost impossible for people to build an ideal just society because it is almost impossible to maintain high vibrations in a three-dimensional world that has a dual perception of reality. On the other hand, external factors also had a huge impact on them, when the heads of people were attacked by avalanches of temptations and pictures of beautiful life, which are based on exclusively material values, and therefore cultivating individualism and rivalry in a person. As a result, no country in the world, even such a great one as the Soviet Union, has managed to stay afloat and defend universal communist ideals and traditional moral values. We will stop there today. The Father Absolute, who loved you immeasurably, spoke to you.